example is from a financial services company. This company had identified that many of the customers were going elsewhere to get loans against their brokerage accounts at the firm. It only made sense to offer these loans to not only retain these customers, but also to realize a new revenue stream. The challenge here was that the product team thought they had to build much of the capability to support this product. They were overwhelmed and worried that there was no way they could launch a viable product on time. This is where having well-documented business processes saves the day. By documenting an end-to-end -end business process with the subject matter experts, the product manager and the agile team gained an unbiased understanding of how the company works. In other words, they truly understood the ecosystem within the company. This made it easier for the team to use the existing capability and also to design any new capabilities to go to market with confidence. With the guidance of process maps and the ability to connect to appropriate experts in those processes, they soon realized that 95% of what they needed already existed and could easily accommodate their requirements. Further, the existing processes had already stood the test of regulatory scrutiny, so they would also add the needed confidence and allow this product to pass necessary risk reviews and launch on time. Are you able to visualize how your company works in a way that facilitates rapidly launching new products? My next example really expands on how business process can help in connecting to existing capabilities when venturing into new ecosystems. This is a story about a firm in the early 2000s. The digital fulfillment and direct-to-customer revolution was on the rise. It was important for long-established companies to transform their business models to survive in this new ecosystem. You know, I don't remember if digital transformation was even a phrase at that time. The challenge was for the traditional company and I mean a B2B company with over 80 years of tradition to now develop a direct-to-consumer digital arm. Business processes helped us in a few different ways here. First, understanding the consumer journey as a process was of significant importance. And you guessed it, understanding the customer journey helped us see when and where the customers would engage with the company through the product, service, or any other channel. Second, although it was a new ecosystem, ultimately this new ecosystem would have to live on top of the existing company infrastructure and processes. Creating an entire new back end was not an option as this was and is a highly regulated industry, not to mention the cost of such an endeavor. You can think of a company like a computer program where different areas have their processes. If we think about these processes like code, these processes are that allow the company to execute on the business. In this example, we really needed for the new direct-to-consumer digital capabilities to plug into the processes that we already had. Just as programmers want reusable modules of code that can be plugged in where needed, so too a company wants to plug in the processes they already have to meet new business opportunities. The business process model helped us as a team to understand the processes that company had and the expertise each of these processes contained. This allowed the team to efficiently identify where and how the processes and expertise could be plugged into the new opportunities as the new direct-to-consumer arm was developed. Are you able to leverage your existing capabilities while radically departing from your historical business model? For my third example, I would like to share the story 
of how we formalize the Security Incident Response Program. Anytime an organization experiences a cyber or security incident, its reputation, revenue, and customers' trust hinges on both the company's ability to respond to the incident and the company's ability to protect against future attacks. So how did business processes help us in establishing an incident response program? The team discussed and designed a sequence of activities that would align with the runbook as well as with the legal and compliance obligations with customers and regulators. This exercise uncovered several things, two of which I will share here. It identified the areas of high risk and mitigating control, and it also helped the team identify conditions that were previously not thought of and were blind spots for the team. The complete picture of the incident response management process helped all internal stakeholders to understand the interdependencies and the critical path for a good incident response management process. Moreover, this visual model of our business process also helped us share with the regulators what we do to manage an incident, how we do it, and how we envision high risk and remediation. We've spoken in this example about regulators, but how about investors? Or what about communicating clearly with the new acquisitions? Are you able to communicate this clearly with your external party? I have often found that it is what an agile team doesn't know about the company they operate in that can cause lost time or wasted effort. In this presentation, I have tried to paint a picture of how rigorous business process practice can help create connectedness at a whole different level. With well-documented business processes in hand, you now have the tools to visualize how your business works, connect new ideas with your existing capabilities, and communicate your business processes clearly with external parties.